Hi, Billy Trimbo here with the Cisco TAC Applications team. In this video, I'd like to show you how to properly gather logs for the WebEx Mobile client. You may be familiar with my other video on how to collect WebEx Desktop Client Logs. Where the WebEx Desktop Clients have the ability to gather logs and save them locally to the machine, mobile clients do not have this capability. Let's step through how to both set up for and obtain the logs and data necessary for proper troubleshooting. There are two areas where the option to send logs will appear. If the problem occurs during a sign-in where access to the normal application settings is unavailable, you'll see an option at the top right of the screen represented by a circle with three dots inside. Tap on that and you'll see a menu choice titled Report an Issue. The next screen will look like this with two options. Here we simply want to choose Send Logs Only. The logs are sent directly to the WebEx server in the cloud. Please note the exact typing of the email address that was in the previous screen. TAC engineers will use this to search for the logs and it must be an exact match. The second place where the option to send logs can be found appears after a successful sign-in. This time the menu option will be accessible from the profile picture. First, reproduce the issue, and then tap on the profile picture on the upper left. Under the Help menu, you will see the option Report an Issue. Tap there, and the next screen has a few fields to fill in. Choose the product area and issue that best matches your situation along with the description. Then tap Send at the top left. Once you see the notification that it was successful, tap Done. The next step for log collection involves obtaining the call environment data. This file would be needed if the problem involves the phone device connected to WebEx. So once you've confirmed the logs have been successfully sent, tap on Settings, then tap on Calling, and within the Calling Settings, you will see the option to Export Calling Environment Data. Selecting this option will then pull up the ways in which the calling environment data file can be transported. These include options such as sending the file through email, uploading it to a cloud drive, or even sharing it with another WebEx user. With log collection complete, the only remaining task is to include any information on the problem to the TAC engineer. Here are a few of the key items to include the exact WebEx account ID listed in the profile, a full description of the problem, the time it happened as specific as possible, the calling and called numbers if it is relevant to the problem, all steps taken to reproduce the problem, the number of users experiencing the problem and whether it's reproducible every time, and any background on when the problem started and changes that may have been involved. This concludes the steps necessary to collect the WebEx logs on a mobile device. I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.